Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. We've got a Fae trailer today to react to. We're probably looking forward to another rearmed hero. And today I'm joined by a very special guest who hasn't been on the channel before. Uh, you may know them from uh, their former stint as a Fae tuber, but they currently make other videos. And that is Chaos. Hi guys, I'm Case of a K. Um, I don't have like a stake in this game anymore. I already plus 10 legendary Lilina. <laughs> <laughs> you still play it though, right? I do, yeah. Elgar's coming back in January. I need to plus 10 her. <laughs> True. <laughs> um, so yeah, do you have any like hopes or predictions for this uh, banner before we jump into it? So I think we're probably either going to get a rearmed hero or like ascended air. And in terms of what game the banner is probably going to be, um, we haven't had a face or a new mystery banner in a while, but we just got Corrin's. So I'm going to say new mystery. Okay. Yeah, I, I definitely think we're getting air in some capacity since obviously the Tempest trial happened. Um, mm -hmm. But I guess it remains to be seen whether she'll be the rearmed hero if there is one or uh, the ascended. So I guess let's uh, let me just pull up the trailer and we'll just watch it. Oh, they started off with the rearmed hero. Okay. Oh. That's not air. That is not air. Is that Grima? <laughs> oh, wow. Are we getting another awakening banner? Oh, and she has a dragon stone. And she's an armor. I was literally saying earlier that I wanted like a rearmed dragon stone. <laughs> Interesting. Attack of course, speed near a hardy fighter. Oh. I feel like this unit's going to be annoying just seeing her. I can already tell she's mm -hmm. going to be annoying. All right, I wonder who else is going to be on the banner then. Who is Gregor? that? I don't know who that is. <laughs> People are going to be happy, but this is all you need to know. Okay, okay. That's cool. What's his role in Awakening? Um, I don't know because I didn't really use him. Okay. And my memory of Awakening outside of like Sully Q is very foggy. <laughs> Are we finally going to get Lauren? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Who's that? Um, she's like the retainer of uh, what's her face, uh, Emerin. Okay. She seems. I don't cool. think she's playable, but like first time for everything. Pegasus I guess. flight on a demo. Did you see that? Yeah. What the hell? Unless she's not the demo, but. With that, that kind of kid, kit. right? Okay, so this is air. Yeah, this has to be air. It's the music and everything. Yeah. All oh, the music's so pretty and she's so pretty. <laughs> she's finally smiling. I know. Oh. So. Hakan well, snapped with this one, honestly. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mystic Boost 4? I was not expecting that. <laughs> Okay, work, I guess. I'm really curious to see what that one is. But, okay, before we get into talking about the units, I just want to say, if they're going to continue this trend of an Ascended and a Rearmed Hero on every banner, I really hope they don't, but if they do, it's like the, the pace at which they're going to add new units is like so slow. <gasps> it's Rickon! Yes! Oh, that's so cute! And then we already know this. You can get a floor it and you can spark. There's too much going on in this trailer. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a full like minute of just explaining game mechanics. Yeah. Oh yeah, she can be used to inherit save to like to units. Okay, that's actually pretty good. You can give save and a PRF to an armored dragon. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, well, I, for one, am really curious to see what Robin's weapon does, so I guess let's start there. Um, wow, I loaded this trailer so early, it was on 480p. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but now we're back on 1080. So, uh, oh, it's called Arcane Grima. Very creative uh, name. <laughs> Do you want to go ahead and read that? 
All right. Accelerate special trigger, cooldown count minus one. At start of combat, if unit's HP is more than or equal to 25%, grants five to all stats to unit during combat, unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack, deals damage equals 15% of unit's attack, and restores seven HP to unit after combat, and then it's just a dragon, like, ranged effect. That's like... good. <laughs> yeah, that's like... Every skill a uh, tanky dragon wants, all in one. Yeah, like, we were talking about this before starting the recording, but like, uh, OG Corin, the female one, definitely would love this. Um, and I feel like there are others too that I, I'm not thinking of right now, but uh, no, this is just a very solid weapon. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> don't really know what else to say, but uh, she's also got Pavis, Dragonhide, which is new. Uh, neutralizes effective against armored bonuses. Oh god. Where's her weaknesses? <laughs> oh my god. If foe initiates combat or if foe's HP is greater than or equal to 75% at start of combat, it, am I seeing this right? Inflicts spectrum minus 8 on foe and grants special cooldown charge plus 1 to unit per attack during combat. <laughs> We hear intelligent systems determined the rearmed grandma does not have enough skills. <laughs> That is insane. So effectively with her base kit, that's a swing of 13 stats in her favor in every single stat. She's also got Hardy Fighter in her base kit. She's got save. She's got neutralizes armor effectiveness. <laughs> How do you kill on, her? Right? Like, because it, it seems like she's going to be fast too. I guess you just want to chip at her if out of combat damage, like she doesn't have distant counter or anything, so you could just throw like poison strike, savage blow, like I guess, but on her. If you're running her alongside like a far saver and she's the near saver, like you know, you <laughs> Oh my god, we're gonna see so many like grandma Bector yeah. like comps. Catria balls with these two. <laughs> uh felt my skin crawl just now. Yeah, just thinking about that is uh, definitely something. I definitely think as a unit, she's a significant upgrade over Rearmed Leaf. Like, as a unit herself, she's just really, really good. Yeah. Rearmed Leaf felt like they were releasing a fodder unit to show you that you could yeah. fodder off Rearmed Heroes. Wow. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not excited for this, but uh, I guess let's talk about uh, Gregor. Because he's also on this banner. Um, so he's got Blade of Favors, Accelerate Special Trigger, at start of player phase or enemy phase, if any foes are within three rows or three columns centered on unit, inflicts attack speed defense minus six on those foes through their next actions, and grants attack speed defense plus six to unit for one turn. So it's like a, it's like a Omni Menace almost, but like much better because it's like any foes within that, um, you know, that area, not just the nearest. Um, mm -hmm. And then if unit initiates combaters within two spaces of an ally, inflicts penalty on foes, attack speed defense during combat equals five plus current penalty on each of those stats. So it's uh, like a penalty Like a doubler. vulture effect. Yeah. Um, and then reduces damage from foes first attack during combat by 40%. Part of me is just really mad about the wording of at start of player phase or enemy phase when they could just write at start of each phase. True. <laughs> Why can't they just write... yeah... Wait, at start of player phase or enemy phase? Wait, how does that work? At start of enemy phase, have we had any effects like that before? I don't think so. That's actually really interesting now that you mentioned it. I kind of assumed it was just like Menace where it was like at start of your phase, but it seems like as long as they're within three rows or three columns within you at any point, even if it's their phase, they still get the debuffs, which is kind of cool, actually. Yeah. Um, and then Solid Ground is new. Uh, attack defense plus seven and res minus five. It's like still water. But like, who uses this well? <laughs> um... Science side of Tumblr, please explain. Yeah, if anyone in the comments can think, like, who would actually be a good user of this, I would love to know. Because, like, you could say, like, you know, units with high attack and defense and low res, but, like, there, there are other options, too. Like, someone like Lucas, for example, you could run a tier 4 stance on him instead. So I just don't know why you would run this. 
And he's also got infantry no follow-up, which, uh... Always nice to have more of that in the pool, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it sure is infantry no follow-up. <laughs> True. It just feels like there's so many ways to give no follow-up to units nowadays. Um, yeah, not much more to say about him. I, he's another sword infantry. <laughs> At least he's not Galzus, too. True. Um, so Fela is a lance flyer. Very creative. <laughs> and she's got to be the demo, right? Yeah, she's definitely... I'm pretty sure it said at the end of the trailer that she's a four-star focus. Okay. Um, so Rain Lance is nice. Uh, yeah, that's that's decent, right? Like... Yeah, Rain Lance and Pegasus Flight are quite good to have on a four-star. Yeah. It's too many numbers for me to wrap my head around exactly. for a skill that doesn't really do a lot to justify the amount of math that it requires you to do. Yeah, and like it's like at most you're getting minus seven to foe's attack defense. I feel like that might have been really good at one point, but nowadays like there are some some really good uh, B skills for melee flyers at least. I feel like even back when Fior was released, it was kind of mid. Yeah, it was like it was a good skill in theory. It was just very hard to get it to activate fully <laughs> and then air and i really want to see what mystic boost 4 does <laughs> i think i skimmed it and saw attack minus 5 on 4 during combat or something yeah let's start with that first so it's inflict attack minus 5 on foe during combat disables foe skills that calculate damage using the forward lower of foe's defense or res and calculate damage from staff like other weapons so that's just the base part of mystic boost if foe uses staff neutralizes effects that prevent units counterattacks during combat and restores 10 HP to unit after combat. That's kind of awesome. It's null C disrupt, basically. Well, for staffs. It's like anti-dazzling. Um, yeah, that's actually really cool. It feels like they packed a lot into this skill. <laughs> yeah, that's that's quite good value, especially because Mystic Boost is kind of easy to get your hands on nowadays. Uh, but I guess, uh, do you want to go ahead and read the weapon? We already know what it does, but uh, might as well go through it. Accelerate special trigger. If unit initiates combat or follows two range, grants attack speed defense res plus five during combat and bonus to unit attack during combat equals 40% of the current HP of the ally with the second lowest current HP at the start of combat. <laughs> Excludes unit maximum bonus of twi- I have no I, idea what this means. They just rolled up with like the whole Declaration of Independence on me. <laughs> and I'm just... I feel like I'm like having one of those dreams where I have to perform like a speech in front of my whole school. <laughs> <laughs> just to understand this effect. Anyway, neutralizes effects that prevent units follow up attacks. And also, which is my favorite phrase in a face skill <laughs> description, if units HP is more than or equal to 25% and forward reduce units HP to zero, unit, unit survives with one HP. And she gets dagger seven also, just in case you wanted even more text on this a weapon effect <laughs> but yeah so let's uh let's take a look at that the, the declaration of independence again real quick because i still don't know what's going on there <laughs> bonus to units attack during combat equals 40 percent of the current hp of the ally with the second lowest hp at start of combat maximum bonus of 20. So this is so, so she can get, high concept. She can get up to plus twenty attack during combat. This, oh my god, I didn't that didn't register to me. But now I'm thinking about it. So to get that to get that twenty, you'd have to have um someone with fifty HP is is your baseline because forty percent of fifty HP is twenty. So you need your second lowest ally hp on the team to be 50 which like i can't tell if that's easy or hard to do <laughs> but attack um, plus 20 is strong like if you can do it <laughs> there's definitely going to be a lot of meme builds like meme teams of people just bringing like air and like Arden. a bunch of like merlin eye <laughs> sorry <laughs> did you just say merlin eye yeah, like, Merlin is plural. That's, that's the funniest thing I've heard today. She's just rolling up with attack plus 20 from that, attack plus 5 from her weapon as well, then another plus 9 from catch. That's, what, 36 attack just for existing? 
it seems like it's going to be hard for this unit to miss the heavy blade check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, if, actually, yeah, like, she's a decent user of lethality now that I think about it. Lethality heavy blade. Oh my god. Yeah, like... Cut that part of the video, you're going to give people <laughs> too many bad ideas. Uh, and she's got slaying in her weapon, it's it's too perfect. I don't know, are you, are you going to be pulling for her? I don't know. I need to see if she passes... Well, most media uses the phrase Bechdel test to check for like certain things, but I think we and Faye use the Bechter test instead. Yeah. <laughs> and I I need to check if she passes the Bechter test to see if she's worth keeping. Uh huh. So there's also Rickon. He is demoting uh, instantly. Um and he's got the green rabbit tome if i recall correctly i don't think the rabbit tomes are particularly good but it's nice to complete the set i guess <laughs> and uh the the ghb is if you know who this is i don't know it's cervantes yeah he's like a a choice <laughs> a bad um, choice by the sounds of it not like necessarily but like I feel like they're, I personally feel like there were probably better characters from Awakening to pick for GHB. Mm -hmm. Such as, um, I well, mean like Validar. But I guess I'm, I'm happy for fans of the new characters who are being added. Um, at the end of the day, like, although we are getting two alts on this banner, it is still four new people who weren't in the game. Um, so that's, that's cool. Um, still waiting mm -hmm. for a Fates banner though. It's it's been a it's been a it's been a hot minute since we last got a Fates banner. Give me Sophie. That's all I'm asking for. <laughs> Give me Ascended Camilla, please. We need someone to like. Fates had it good for too long. They need they need a new unit to send people into buy. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today, Chaos. Um, and those of you who are watching this video. If you don't already subscribe to Chaos or follow them on Twitter, um, I will have their links and information in the description. So please, uh, please do go check them out. I make content on whatever I feel like making content on, which is very broad, I know. But <laughs> trust me, um, it's fun. Uh, sometimes you just want to hear someone talk about like something Something I learned when like watching other content creators like before I got into YouTube was sometimes you just want to listen to someone talk about something that you don't actually care about and I am there to like fulfill that need <laughs> for other people who have that weirdly specific niche but uh, I am cooking something Fire Emblem related at some point so. Okay, cool. Looking forward to that. Uh, but yeah, you heard it here folks. If you want to just have uh, something to listen to, please check out Case's channel. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much again for joining me, and uh, best of luck to everyone who's pulling on this banner, uh, and I will see you with the next video. Bye! Bye guys!